Hi, and welcome to Home Assistant How To with Bearded Tinker. Today we're going to play with the Folder Watcher, and we'll start in a couple of seconds. Before we go any further with today's video, I really would like to thank all the members who have joined my YouTube channel. Thank you for all of your support, and thanks to everybody who watched, liked or subscribed to my channel. If you too want to support the channel, you can always click the join button below and become the YouTube channel member. Thank you, and now let's proceed with today's video. Folder Watcher has been in Home Assistant since the version of Home Assistant 0.67. According to the Home Assistant analytics, only 267 installations have enabled this integration. And well, enabling is very straightforward and we can do it in just one step. The use case for it may be a bit strange. This video will be a short one, but we will go through the automation that will show you and tell you when there is a change on your file system. And this can be either file that has been created by Home Assistant, something that you edited, automation maybe that was created in YAML file and you didn't restart Home Assistant, or any change to files inside the configuration folder of your Home Assistant. And yes, Folder Watcher is a watchdog for file system on Home Assistant installation. So let's get started. First step, of course, is to enable the integration. For this, we do have to go to configuration YAML file. Open your file editor or Visual Studio Code, depending on your tool of choice. And inside the configuration YAML file, anywhere you want, I will do it at the end of the file. Let's add this integration. I always like to add the comment before I start the integration. And the integration has to be activated with the following command. Folder underscore watcher. And in the next line, you should add the path to the folder that you want to watch. Be careful, the path is recursive, meaning whatever path you add, all the subfolders under that path will be scanned too. Minus folder and config. This one will scan all the files inside the config folder and also all the subfolders under the config folder. If, for example, you want to only scan the changes inside the www folder, you would add following www and now only the www folder and the subfolders there will be scanned. Let me remove this part here. This is the only mandatory field or line that you have to add to your configuration ML file. But if you would add it like this, all the files that are inside this folder will be watched which is something that maybe you don't want to do. For example, I have a lot of folders, subfolders, and yeah, it can create problems. So what I'll do, I'll add patterns. And pattern allows you to be more precise which files you want to monitor for. So for example, it can be star.yaml. This would track all the changes or newly created or deleted YAML files. .tar. This one would track all the tar files. And by tracking, I mean when the file was created, deleted, modified, moved or closed. And let's, for example, add also this line. txt. And this would do the same for the txt file. And this is it. Now our integration for the folder watcher has been activated. Well, it's not been activated since we didn't do a check of the configuration and restart the home assistant. But when we restart the home assistant, it would be activated. It would watch for the folder config and then it would check for all the changes or all it is tracking for YAML, tar and txt files. Before we restart home assistant, Let's check one more thing. In order for this to work, we need to have config folder allow listed inside Home Assistant. I have following line, allow list external directories or dirs with the config folder listed. 
if you fail to add this line, you will get error inside the log of Home Assistant, and of course the integration will not start. If you want to track multiple folders, you can do that. Just add folder here, scroll back down, and add one additional folder line with the folder and maybe subfolder. And that way you can add multiple folders. But I will remove this line and remove it here at the top. Server control, check configuration, because this is something that you always do before restarting Home Assistant. Otherwise, if you do not check it before restart, you may have issues with the startup of Home Assistant. Let's press restart. If you did like this video so far, please give me a thumbs up, because it not just means a lot to me, but it also helps with the YouTube algorithms. And of course, if you have any kind of comment or question, you can always find me on the Discord server, but also feel free to leave a comment down in a comment section below. Ok, now that our Home Assistant has started up and Folder Watcher has started, how do we integrate it or automate it? Well, that's pretty simple. It all depends, of course, on your use case. The example that is listed on the Home Assistant integrations page for this component shows you how you can track if there is a new image, for example, image from your cameras, and then push the notification to your whatever device, notification platform, with the name of the file and also the path to the file, with the information that there is a new file created and also path. One of the examples that you can do is maybe use this to trigger automation if you cannot reach your user interface. But please bear in mind, if you want to use this as a watchdog, if Home Assistant fails and it doesn't start up, probably the automations will not start up too. So for this to work, both Home Assistant and automations need to start up and work. Automations, add new automation, start with empty automation, We'll call this folder watcher. For the trigger type, we want to use event. You can use trigger ID to add multiple triggers. For example, one can be created in the event type, type folder watcher. And for the event data, type event. type created. We can add additional trigger, once again event, let's call this one deleted, folder watcher, once again will be event type and here under event type for this event, type deleted. And now we have two triggers, one for the created and the other one for the deleted. For the actions, select choose, add first condition, we'll be using trigger condition, created, action, call service, service platform, let's extend this, new Take step file created. For message, let's try the following file trigger event data file created in trigger event data folder. And while we are already here, let's add following data file trigger event data path. Let's add this also here. So what this will do when the new file takes the file, because we are watching for the takes the file is created. We will receive a notification telling us that file, the name of the file, is created and the folder where it is created. And also it will give us path to that file. 
let me copy this here because we will reuse it for the deleted part also. Add option, add condition, trigger, deleted, add action, call service, service notify, notify, let's add it in YAML and let's paste here. So we will just customize this text file deleted. Before we save this, let me just fix one thing. I want to replace service notify notify with persistent notification. That way it will be easier for us to see notification here. But since I'm changing this to persistent notifications, unfortunately, I cannot use this part with the data and the path. If you would be sending this to your Telegram, WhatsApp, Synology chat or whatever, there you can have paths. Let's delete this. Let's save this. And here let's create a new file called test.txt. And if everything is correct, we should see notification that the txt or text file has been created. Let's dismiss all. Let's delete this file permanently. And the notification is here. Takes the file deleted, file test.txt deleted in the configuration folder. Just please bear in mind, your system is very alive and kicking. Depending on the patterns you are using here, you may be overwhelmed with all the created, modified and deleted messages. So what I would definitely recommend is to target either specific subfolder or specific file name and then use that in your automations or use that to create automations. For example, as I mentioned, I have myself two cameras and they are creating snapshots in a folder. One is called balcony.jpg and the other one is uh, elevator.jpg. I can create a folder watcher with patterns to match exactly those two file names and that would reduce false positives. And as you can see, there are a lot of notifications here about the configuration log file being deleted, created, etc. And this is it for this Home Assistant How To with Bearded Tinker. I really do hope that you did enjoy this video and that you did find it useful. If you have idea on how to use this inside your Home Assistant or your setup, please let me know on the Discord server or down in the comment section below. If you still haven't subscribed, please subscribe and hit the bell button so you get notified on the future video updates. And I'll be seeing you next time. Until then, bye bye and have fun.